So make sure you're seated comfortably. You don't have to sit on the floor cross-legged. You can have your legs out yeah. wide. Make sure that your hips are comfortable. If your knees are up high, put two or three pillows up, set up on them. Maybe sit on a chair or your couch, that's fine too. So we used a blanket so that we can keep our back nice and straight without jamming it. When I take the blanket out, my back rounds. This is all about being effortless. Less is more, remember that. So we're all, no matter what seat we have, legs out wide, sitting on a chair, legs crossed. Hands are rested on the legs. And we're gonna move ourselves around in circles, big circles. You're gonna notice how your body feels and settle into it. Close your eyes. Change the direction of your circles. And notice it feels differently going this way. Breathe through your nose if you can. And please relax your shoulders. Change direction whenever it feels comfortable to you. Just a few times around. Notice how your hips are feeling. Notice how the lower back is feeling. Keep the shoulders relaxed. How's your neck feeling tonight? Please don't count your circles, just change direction of the circles. Go one way around several times before you change the direction, go the other way around several times. Breathe through your nose if you can. And now let's move into the rhythm of the elephant. Lean yourself in front of your hips and you're gonna inhale Sway from one side, exhale to the other side, back and forth. Let your lower back soften. Let each breath be full and deep. Maybe pausing at the very top of the breath maybe pausing at the bottom of the breath. Find that natural synchronization between your breath and your movement. Now it doesn't matter if it's the right or the left side. Put your hands on each side of one of your legs. Take a deep breath and on your exhale, gently bow to where it's safe. Some of you set up really tall and let your head hang down. Some of you go low enough to kiss your knee. Doesn't matter. Let the head hang. Let the shoulders relax. Take a deep breath in and let it out with... <sighs> Shake your head a little yes, a little no. With an inhale, rise back up. Put your hands on both of your legs. Exhale here. Now again, take another deep breath in. Let the day out with a sigh. <sighs> Let it go. Turn to the other side. Breathe in and only bow to where it feels comfortable. Let the shoulders relax. Let your head hang down. Let the neck be soft. Let it release. 
Again, take another deep breath in. <sighs> Shake your head a little. Yes, a little no. With an inhale, come back up. Put your hands on both of your knees. Exhale here. With a deep breath in, draw both shoulders up to your ears. And on your exhale, fold the shoulders together and down your back. Let's try it one more time. Inhale, take the shoulders up. Exhale, take them back and down. Put your hands on the floor in front of you. And when you bow, stretch out to where it feels safe. Let your shoulders relax. Let the head hang down. Let the neck be soft. Let it release. Don't go anywhere. Take a deep breath in. Let the day out with a big sigh. <sighs> Shake your head a bit. With an inhale, rise back up. Put the backs of your hands together and lift them to the heart. Take a deep breath in. Open your arms out wide. Exhale, let your hands meet right over your head. Inhale, reach your fingertips up. And when you exhale, the hands come comfortably down to the heart. Namaste. Release your hands. Roll your shoulders around. Now take your legs out comfortably out in front of you. You could stay on your blanket if it feels good. Maybe you need to be up high on your pillow. Work your ankles around. Work them going one way, go the other. You may hear them snap, crackle, and pop. That's good. Now, if you have a blanket under your hips or a pillow, that's okay. But we're all going to do this. We're going to press the thigh down and pull the abundance out from underneath of us. Once you do that, you press through the heels of your feet. Breathe there. Feel that deep stretch in your groin, your legs. Feel it. Spread the toes out. Pull back on the pinky toe. Just experience that for a moment. We're staying with our hips on the floor. Don't let your hip come up, not your right hip. You're going to put your left hand anywhere behind you. It may not go very far. That's all right. Maybe it goes way back behind you. But make sure the fingers are pointing in the same direction as your shoulders. In other words, you don't want the fingers this way or way out that way. They're in the same direction as the shoulders pointing. Your right hand, if you're not twisting far, it goes to the floor in front of you. If you are twisting far, it goes to the outside of your left thigh. Listen to your body. Lengthen tall, squeeze your tummy, and gently look to the left. Now breathe here. Breathe deep and full. Now remember, if you have a belly, you might want to put your hand here. Not everybody is large who has come to this class, but other people have come with serious injuries. We all walk with a limp. Now we're going to keep our hands where we are, and we're going to turn our heads looking over to the right. And that includes me. I have my own limps. Now you're going to turn your head back to your left foot hands on each side of your left leg. You're going to bend your knee or not. You're going to bow over that leg. Keep your right hip down. Remember, we all have our own injuries, our own issues. Everybody feels and looks different in each pose. Each side is different. Take just two more deep breaths, ladies. Relax everything over that left leg. Remember, if it hurts so much, you need to bend that left knee. Go right ahead. Breathe here. And after that last breath, we're all going to come all the way back up. Work your ankles around. Go one way, go the other way. Flex and point your feet. Now you're going to turn all your toes up to the ceiling. Spread your toes out wide apart. Hold it for a moment. Feel that sensation in your groin in the back of your legs. Don't be in a hurry. Now remember, twist the way it feels comfortable to you. 
each side is different. Maybe that side was crazy twisty and this side is difficult or vice versa. Let's bring our right hand behind us. Fingertips pointing in the same direction as the shoulders. Left hand can go to the floor. Just lift and look over your right shoulder. Maybe that hand goes to the outside of your right leg and twists a little deeper. Every side feels different. Every body feels different. Each day can be different as well. Now keep your twist and slowly turn your head. Look over at the left toes. Maybe you only look straight ahead. That's all right. Now bring your nose to the middle, release your arms, relax your ankles and circles. Now we're going to slide the soles of the feet together to butterfly. If you cannot bend your knees, you take the feet out wide, put uh, supports under them, or go ahead and keep your legs out with pillows under the knees. Have the knees bent no matter what. If you're in butterfly pose, please try to push the feet together. It's really important to get the soles of the feet to touch just for a moment. This will increase your circulation. This will enhance the, the uh, nervous system. Keep it, keep it fresh, keep it moving. This is the furthest place away from your head, from your brain. It's the furthest place away from your heart. So it's the first place that we experience neuropathy and it's the first place that we experience um, circulation issues. So I used to have cold feet all the time. Once I started doing this, it really changed how my feet felt. The more we do with them, the more they respond in a positive way. They love you. They're waiting for you to love them. So we're gonna let our hands rest out anywhere. They may rest on the legs, but we're gonna let the head and the shoulders relax. You may be setting up high and just re breathing into it, but if you can and still be able to breathe, let the shoulders come forward, let your head hang, and take just a few deep breaths out your back rib cage. Breathe out as wide as you can out your back ribs, and on your exhale, pull the tummy in and upward. Do this several times, inhale. Stretch out the back rib cage, your side rib cage. Exhale, pull the tummy in and up. Just a couple of deep breaths there. Let the head hang. Let it expand out wide through your back rib cage. Exhaling, pulling the tummy in and up. And very gently, you're going to keep your chin into your chest and slowly lift yourself up. Here's your hands behind your knees. Give yourself a moment in recovery. Drop your hands back. Drop your feet out wide, knees out wide apart. So the more you practice that, pulling that tummy in and up in that position, the more you strengthen the core. You stoke the metabolism. So now your knees are out wide, your feet are out wide. You can be on a blanket. You can press one knee down, point one knee up. Feel this deep stretch from hip to knee. If you need to, you could put a pillow underneath the knee and let it rest. Breathe there. For those girls here who aren't feeling anything, take the foot out further out to the side and maybe the heel up higher. That will drop it into it a little deeper. If you want it more, that knee that's pointing up, press it slightly inward and go, oh, wow, yeah. Bring that knee up and press the right knee down. Now, if you want to, you can walk that foot out or put a pillow underneath the knee. It feels different on each side. Each knee, each hip feels different. Now, if you wanted to feel it more, you can press that left knee and go, wow. Gently lift that knee up and go from side to side. Slow extra slow whatever feels just right to you breathe and move through that hip just a few times get that internal rotation and then we're going to bring both knees up 
walk your feet and your knees in together. And you're going to take your, yourself onto your hands and knees or stand up and get a chair to use for the floor under your hands. So if you're going to come onto your hands and knees for cat cow, go right ahead. You can put extra padding on, under your knees. You can also, because we're going to press back, you can roll your blanket up and put it behind your thigh and your calf muscle. That's up, up, up to you what feels better. My girls who are standing up, you put the chair in front of you and put the hands on the seat of the chair. And you're coming into table pose standing up like this. It works just as well. Toes can be relaxed or rolled under. And we're all gonna start with our cat pose. And then we're gonna move it into cow pose. We're gonna inhale to cat, exhale to cow. Inhale, cat, exhale, cow. Never look up any higher than it feels good in cow pose. Now, the next time you exhale and you flow into cow pose, hold cow. Elbows are straight. You're looking forward or do you let your head hang? You let your back sag to the floor. Breathe there. Feel that back bend. Make sure there's no pain or else come into table pose. Now the next time you inhale, take it to the cat. Hold the cat. Relax your butt muscles. Relax them. Pull your tummy in. Shake your head a little bit. Take one more breath here. And then inhale to cow pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Give your wrist handy handle it. You can do this on your elbows. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Just a couple more times, ladies. And the next time you have cat rounding, hold the cat, pull your tummy in, and press the hips low to your heels. Reach the arms out long to the front of your mat. Look at your fingertips, spread them out wide, elbows off the floor, drop your head between the arms. Breathe there, stretch out. Now inhale. Lift all the way back up. You're gonna walk your way over to the right side. You just move your chair if you have your hands on the chair. Elbows are straight. You don't have to go far. You're gonna take it into cat pose. Move it into cow. Now it doesn't matter if it's an inhale or an exhale to ease or pose. Just breathe and flow from head to tail. Keep your butt muscles relaxed. I can't stress that enough. Next time you're in cat, hold the cat. Press the hips low to the heels. Reach the arms out long to the right. Elbows off the floor. Drop the head between the arms. If you want it deeper, take that left hand, put it on top of the right hand or close to it. Twist to the middle of your mat, to the left side. Breathe there. You can twist both ways. Inhale, lift all the way back up. Walk your way to the left side. Hands under your shoulders, fingers pointing to the left. Start with cat pose. Move it to cow. Flow back and forth from cat. Move it to cow just a few times from head to tail the next time you naturally have your cat rounding 
you're gonna hold your cat, let your head hang, belly is in, butt muscles are relaxed. Press the hips low to the heels, reach the arms out to the left. Take a look, spread the fingers, elbows off the floor. Let the head drop. Put that right hand on top of your left hand and twist your right side body to the middle. Breathe in, just another breath. Maybe you twist both ways. Maybe you don't even do that. Maybe you're just stretching out. Inhale, come all the way back up. Come back to the center. Press it back. Tuck the chin. And then we're going to lift all the way back up. And we're going to come down onto our hips. Once we sit down onto our bottoms, we're going to play with seated forward fold, ladies. So this is an intense pose. If you're rounded, I want you to get some pillows underneath your hips. If your hamstrings are tight, you're going to put your blanket right behind your knees. Pull the abundance out from underneath your hip bones. This is an intense pose. I've been practicing this pose since I was 13. That's a long time ago. Every year I work with this, I find different little nuances about it. Be patient with yourself. You don't want to round. If you have a belly, you're going to separate the legs and give yourself a little room. Move your tummy out of the way. That's okay. You're going to let the hands rest on each side of the leg. And remember, cat cow, we just did it. So just for a moment, knees are slightly bent, okay, or they're bent a lot. Make sure that the heels are not rotated inward and you have your hip bones on the floor, pillow or blanket. So remember, cat cow, we just did. We're going to tuck and round cat. Now you're going to look forward, lift your collarbones and come into cow looking at your feet, giving your back the sensation of cow pose. Did that deepen your pose? It should have. If not, go ahead and talk and round for a second, round it, move it around, stretch your back, and then inhale, look forward, lift your collarbones up away from your hip bones, tuck your chin looking at your feet, lifting and looking down. That should have deepened it. You should feel that real deep in your hip. And then you're gonna gently relax it forward. If you want, you can put stack those pillows way up in front of you and let your head rest on it. Get those pillows, get them there. Let your head relax, let your shoulders relax. Some of you need your head resting on the pillow and wanna hold on to your feet. That's fine too. We're gonna be here for several breaths. Not for five minutes, don't worry. But we are gonna be here for several breaths. Relax your back, relax your shoulders. Let it go, we're no longer doing cat-cow, we're just letting your back go. We took it to the point where you felt it in the back of your legs, into the connective tissue, bone to muscle. This is where you deepen your forward fold, where you really truly stretch your hamstrings, not the muscles, the connective tissue. Please ladies, just a couple more deep breaths into your seated forward fold. <sighs> Another breath. <sighs> You're going to gently lift all the way back up. Once you come up, you're going to take the blanket from underneath your legs. Give yourself a moment and move those ankles around. Go one way, then the other way. That should have been pretty deep in the body. Now, ladies, we're going to do scallops. So we're gonna go ahead and bend your knees and you're gonna lay down onto your left hand side. Once you're on your left hand side, you're gonna have your hands stacked 
your head is going to rest on the floor. If you need the blanket underneath your cheek, not behind your head, go right ahead. That's terrific. With an inhale, bring that right arm straight up. Look up. Roll your back down, your shoulder, your elbow, then the hand. Look straight up to the ceiling. Tuck the chin down to the chest. Feel that stretch the back of your neck. Breathe there. Now relax your neck. We're going to do lion's roar. Open your mouth wide. Stick your tongue out and go. Close the mouth and gently look over your right shoulder if it feels good to you. Look straight to the ceiling if it feels better, or maybe it feels better to look over your left shoulder. You listen to your neck, please. Spread your right hand wide. With an inhale, bring your arm, your back straight up, look up. Exhale, bring it down to the palm of your left hand. Inhale, bring your right arm up, look up. Roll the back down, your shoulder your elbow, then the hand. Look over your shoulder if it feels good or straight up to the ceiling. Let's take three big breaths. Inhale, make your belly as big as you can. Hold your breath as long as you can. And when you exhale, hold the tummy in and upward. Try it two more times. Expand out as wide, as deep as you can. Hold the breath as long as you can. And when you exhale, hold the tummy in and up. After your third breath like this, just let your breath be. Now you're gonna keep your body relaxed on the floor. Take a deep breath in. Let your body melt. Let it out with a sigh. Spread the right hand wide. Inhale, bring the right arm straight up, look up. Exhale, bring it down to the palm of your left hand. Inhale, bring the right arm straight up. Roll the back down, your shoulder, the elbow, then the hand. Look as far over your right shoulder as it feels comfortable. Look straight up to the ceiling or to your left side. Now we're going to go into the hip. So you're going to swing that right leg out to the left side. Your thighs stay together. They're in the same uh, alignment. Flex your right foot like you have a sneaker on. With an inhale, lift that leg up two inches. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, bring it up two inches. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, bring it up two inches. Now hold it there, keep breathing. Keep that leg straight, but turn the heel of your foot towards the floor, pointing the toes upward to the ceiling. Breathe into that hip. <sighs> Relax your foot, bend the knee, bring it home to the bottom leg. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> Let yourself melt. Spread your right hand wide. With an inhale, bring your right arm, your back straight up. Exhale, bring it down to the palm of your left hand. Please roll onto your back, stretch your legs out long, reach your legs out, stretch from fingertips to your toenails, turn the toes up, press through the heels of your feet to your fingertips. And then you're going to hug behind both knees. Get them wide apart, nose between your bent knees, or head and shoulders stay to the floor. Now, let's go to the other side, girls. Let's lay on our right hand side. Have the knees bent, your arms parallel to the thigh, a cheek under your right, I'm uh, sorry, a blanket under your right cheek. Nothing behind your head, though. With an inhale, left arm straight up to the ceiling. Roll the back down, your shoulder, your elbow, then the hand. 
Look straight up to the ceiling, head stays on the floor. We're gonna tuck the chin into the chest and you feel that stretch the back of your neck. Keep breathing, please don't hold your breath. Now relax your neck, open your mouth wide to the ceiling, stick your tongue out and say, close your mouth. Look over your left shoulder if it feels good, straight up to the ceiling or look to the right. What feels best to you? Spread your left hand wide. Inhale, left arm back, come straight up. Exhale, bring it down to the palm of your right hand. Inhale, bring your arm straight up. Roll the back down, your shoulder, your elbow, then the hand. Look to where it feels safe and comfortable for your neck. Let's expand out wide on an inhale. Hold your breath as long as you can. When you exhale, pull the tummy in and upward. Do this three deep times. Expand out as wide and deep through your back ribs, your side ribs. Stretching through that digestion, everything there. Exhale, pull the tummy in and upward. After your third breath, please let your breath be. Keeping the chest open to the ceiling, the arms out wide. Take a deep breath in, let it out with a great big sigh. <sighs> You're gonna spread your left hand wide. Inhale, bring your arm, your back straight up. Exhale, bring it down to the palm of your right hand. Inhale, bring that left arm straight up. Roll the back down, the shoulder, the elbow, then the hand. Keeping the chest open. Yogi's choice, where do you wanna look? Take the left leg out to the right side. Your thighs are in alignment with each other. Flex your left foot like you have a ski boot on or a hard sneaker. Keep the leg straight. You're only gonna lift it up two inches. Inhale, two inches, lift it up. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, bring it up two inches. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, bring it up two inches. Hold it there, keep breathing. Turn the heel of that left foot down, pointing the toes upward. Breathe into that hip. <sighs> One more breath and then release it. Relax your foot, bring it home to the bottom leg. Keep the chest open, take a deep breath in. <sighs> We're gonna spread your hand wide. Inhale, bring the arm all the way up. Exhale, bring it down to the palm of your right hand. Now, ladies, we're going to lay on our tummies. I hope you didn't eat dinner yet. You're going to stack your hands one on top of the other. You're going to let your head rest onto your hands. You're going to flop those feet out wide. In fact, I'm going to come up further just in case you're missing feet and you don't know what I mean. You don't want your heels inward. You want them flopped out. You want your hip bones relaxed. Breathe there. Now, some of you, this is as high as you're gonna come up. At any point, if this is too much, you come back to that. If you can, you're gonna come into what's called Sphinx Pose. So you let the heels relax out. You let, let the hips rest out. If you have a pillow, put it under your head so the head can relax. You're going to breathe there for a moment. Make sure your neck and shoulders are okay. At any time, if you're feeling pain in this lower back area, you need to come flat down on the floor with your head on your hands. It is a still a back bend, just not as deep. And everybody's built differently. 
Some of us have compression in your back. Some of you have um, a herniated disc, compressed disc. So you need to really listen to it. Relax your belly. If your head is on your hand, you'll turn your head to a cheek. If your head is up, take a deep breath to the center and exhale, turn your head over one shoulder. Hold it, keep breathing. Keep your belly relaxed. If your head is on your hands, you're just turning your head to one cheek. Heels are relaxed. With an inhale, bring your nose to center. Let's exhale and look over the other shoulder or turn your head on the opposite cheek. Breathe there. Notice that one side feels different. One side may feel stiff. Just another breath, girls. And then with an inhale, bring your nose to center. Tuck your chin, little nose. And then we're all gonna meet each other down onto our tummies. One cheek is on your mat. Arms are by your side, palms up. If you need to have blanket under your uh, cheek, you go right ahead. Bend your knees and crisscross those ankles back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Release the lower back. Keep your arms down by your side. Just turn your head to the other side. Keep the feet up and instead of crisscross, you're gonna drop your feet from side to side. Windshield wipers. Now for my ladies who don't feel good doing child pose on their knees, roll onto your back, hug wide knees apart to your chest, nose to bent knees. For my ladies who feel comfortable doing child pose, toes touch, a blanket or a pillow behind your knee, and come into child pose, and we're gonna just take a couple of breaths there. Please relax your back. If you're on your back, hugging knees to chest, please take three deep breaths like that. Relax head and shoulders down, and then try to take two deep breaths with your head up. If your neck says no, 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 listen to it. Relax your hips, let your back relax. Now we're gonna lift all the way back up. And we're gonna meet each other seated on the floor. So my girls on their back, go ahead and sit up. My girls who are in child's pose, sit up. Let's do some twisting, girls. So we're gonna do an open twist and a closed twist. We're gonna take our left foot. And if your left foot does not cross your right leg, that's okay. Just leave it right here to the inner part of your right thigh. We're gonna take our, no matter how deep you can twist, we're all gonna try it this way. We're gonna take our right hand and, and hold the knee. Maybe you've got a belly and you don't go very far. That's all right. Maybe you can hug the knee. That's good too. But no matter if you're here or you're here, we're not using our left hand yet. We're twisting to the left side. We're opening our chest as far as we're gonna go. Everybody's gonna twist differently. So again, one, your foot may be here and you're twisting, or it may be here and you're hugging. Now we're gonna put our left hand at our chest and we're gonna point our elbow back behind you and stretch your left hand back. Turn the palm of your left hand to the floor and drop that left hand down. You're gonna pull that left knee as far as you can. So it may not go very far, it's okay. You're gonna look as far over your right shoulder as you can. Breathe there. Now you're gonna maintain your twist and you're gonna stretch through your neck. So look to the left side just to where it feels comfortable. Take another breath, ladies. And then come back to the middle. Now, this is the open twist. Your, again, your foot could be crossed over your right leg. Don't change it, we're still working with the left leg. The left foot could cross over the right or stay to the inner thigh, doesn't matter. We're gonna put our right hand anywhere where it feels comfortable. Now the left arm goes to the inside of the left leg. You're gonna spread your fingers wide. 
You're engaging the arm from fingertips to shoulder. Think of this as a gate. This is one big door, a barn door open, a big gate swinging open. You're gonna press the elbow into the knee, the knee is pressing back. So you have this isometric thing that's happening. You'll feel a tenseness in the hip. So right hand behind you, spread your left hand, press the elbow into the thigh, the thigh presses back, look over your right shoulder to where it feels comfortable, take another breath, and then gently come back to the middle. You're gonna pick your foot up and rock your baby. That baby's maybe way out here, or maybe you're hugging your baby close to your heart, whichever feels best. Now we're gonna do something mama said never to do. Drop your foot down onto your leg. If you can, put a finger, two fingers, or maybe get all four fingers between your toes. Get those fingers between your toes. Try to get the palm of your hand to touch the sole of your foot. Try to squeeze them. Try to push them together. So some of you may only get one finger in there. That's okay. The more you work on it, the more fingers you can get in. I could only get one finger in when I first started. So squeeze it off. You, you have more nerves in the sole of your foot and in the palm of your hand. And they're talking about you right now behind your back. This increases your circulation as well as helps the nervous system. You're going to work your ankle around, go one way, go the other. So I know a few of us have diabetes that have come to the class. This is really a good thing. You know, neuropathy is a serious thing that you've got to consider, but all of us get neuropathy in our feet first, whether you have diabetes or not. We're going to flex and point those feet. And then you're going to take your hands out and go, oh. So now we're going to put our forearm right behind our knee and try to squeeze our knee off. If you cannot get your far forearm there, grab your blanket, roll it up, and stick it behind your knee. So once you get the knee squeezed off, Hold on to that shin bone, pull it in, and work your right ankle around. Go one way, go the other way. This is great for your knees. Whether you had a knee injury or not, this is fantastic. The older I get, the more important this is. Now, keeping the hand or your blanket behind that leg, set the foot down, take your other hand and work into all the, the soft areas into your knee. This is really good for it. Get in there, rub it. See, doing something mom told you not to. Rub yourself, it's okay. Get in there, touch it, move it. And you're gonna release the leg and work your ankle around. I haven't forgotten about the other side. Right foot goes to the inner part of your left side or to the outside. You're going to take your right hand behind you. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to take your left hand, hold the knee, hug it, or either way feels good. Now, right hand is going to rest on the thigh, and you're going to open the chest to the right side. Put your hand on your chest and point your right elbow behind you. Reach the right arm out behind you. Try to look into your right hand, and then put your right hand on the floor. Look over your right shoulder or to the right side. Pull the right knee to the left side as much or as little. Some of you are just holding on to it. It doesn't matter. Make the shape. There is no perfect pose. Gently turn your head, look to the left, and take a couple of breaths there. And then we're gonna bring it back to the center. Now the open twist. The left hand goes behind you, right arm to the inside of the leg. Spread the fingers wide, locking the arm from fingertips to shoulder. El uh, elbow presses into the knee, the knee presses back to get that isometric action. Press into it, twist and look over your left shoulder. Open that barn door, open that gate up. 
Set up tall. Look over that left shoulder. Another breath there, kids. And then you're going to come back to the middle. You're going to pick your foot up in your hand or your elbow. Let's rock that baby. Ah. Now, ladies, let's rest that foot on your left thigh. Maybe you only get one finger in there. That's all right. Maybe you can get two, another finger in there separately and just try it through all your toes. Once you start working with that and you can get fingers in there, get, get your knuckles in there. Really get the widest part of your finger in there. Put the palm of your hand to the heel of your foot and squeeze them and have a little conversation. They're talking about you behind your back. Your foot's telling your hand how much you're, you've abused them. Your hand's telling them how much you've abused them. Work your ankles around. Go one way, go the other way. Flex and point. Give them one more squeeze and then go, oh. Now let's work the knee a little bit. Bring your forearm right behind your right knee or get a rolled up blanket, stick it behind it. Squeeze it off. Foot is off the floor. Work the ankle around. This separates your joint. It lifts the patella up your kneecap. It opens the knee joint up. And then if you have any cartilage, it has a chance to get back in. Put your foot down onto the floor. Keep whatever it is behind the knee. Squeeze it off, opening the joint. Now you get your hand into those soft tissues and start to massage your knee. Work into it. Work all the way around. Get to know your knee. Maybe you can move your kneecap around. Some of us have fallen on our knees so many times that you know, you've had such knee injuries that maybe you feel things moving that shouldn't be moving, popping. That's okay. And then you're going to set the leg out and work your ankles. Now, ladies, make sure you have your strap near you. We're going to lay down onto the floor. Once you're down onto the floor, Get your pillows out. We're gonna come into a butter, fine butterfly pose and we're gonna do a little breath sequence to help relax our mind, our bodies, and increase the capacity of our lungs. So get your pillows or your yoga blankets near you. You wanna have your strap near you because I don't want you to have to keep getting back up and down. So once you lay down onto your mat, please have your knees bent, your feet flat on the floor. You're going to have, have your feet touch and let your knees rest out wide apart. Try to let your toes touch the soles of your feet, touch as much as they can. Let your uh, thighs rest out, but don't go any further than it feels comfortable. There's a couple of you who want to just get rid of your pillows. That's fine. Or you could just let the pillows stay there for a little bit and then halfway through, get rid of them. Let your arms rest out, palms up. Just close your eyes for a moment. We're gonna take a deep breath in, just go. <sighs> We're gonna go into the two part inhalation and, and exhalation. So we're gonna take a nice deep breath in, hold the breath at the top. Out through your nose, let the breath go. Let it glide out of your body. Push the breath out. Inhale, halfway, hold your breath. Inhale, all the way to the top. Hold your breath. Out through the nose, let the breath glide out of your body. Pushing the breath out. Inhale, halfway pause. Inhale to the top, pause. Out through the nose, let the breath go. Let it glide out of the body. Push the breath out. Inhale, halfway pause. 
inhale to the top, pause, out through the nose, let the breath go, let it glide out of your body, push it out. Now a huge breath in, make your breath as big as you can, hold it at the top, let half the breath out, pause. Let all the breath out, squeeze it out. Inhale, deep as you can. Hold the breath at the very top. Exhale, half the breath out, pause. Let all the breath out, push it out. And last time, ladies, make your breath as big as you can. Hold the breath as long as you can. Exhale, half the breath out, pause. Exhale, all the breath out, push it out. And a big, huge breath. Let it go with a sigh. <sighs> if you want to, you can take the pillows out from under your thighs and deepen it. We're just going to take about three or four more deep breaths, letting the uh, groin muscles open, but letting your digestion open. We're going to let the lung capacity increase. Hopefully that decreases the chatter in your mind. Now you're going to use the strength of your hands, hands behind your thighs, bring the knees in together, and you're going to rock your knees gently from side to side. And then you're going to extend your left leg out long on your mat. You're going to hug your right knee into your chest. Turn all toes up to the ceiling. Press through the heels of both feet. Pull your tummy in and lift your left leg up off the floor. You don't have to lift your head up, but if it feels good, bring your nose to your right knee and reach your left arm over your left thigh. You could do that without lifting your head up. Let it all go to the floor. Grab your strap. Let's put it around your right leg. Breathe into the back of that leg. <sighs> now let your left shoulder rest out, the arm rest out, palm up. Let your right leg rest out to the right side and bring that leg straight up to the ceiling and out to the right side. Get nice, big circles in that leg. Go one way around, ladies, before you change the direction and go the other way around. Just a few times. Now, ladies, we're gonna bring the leg back to center. Pull the leg towards you. Feel that stretch in calf and hamstrings. We're gonna twist. Left hand has your strap. Right arm rests out comfortable, palm up. You're gonna pull the right leg to the left side. So you can have the knee bent or the leg straight. You're gonna look over your right shoulder or straight up to the ceiling. You can use a blanket for a, uh, or a pillow to support your leg or not, whatever feels best to you. Breathe into the twist. And then ladies, we're gonna bring the leg back to center, pull the leg gently towards you. Now we're gonna take the strap off your foot, support the leg with hands or not. Point your toes up and work your ankle in circles. Go one way, change the direction and go the other way. Now, if you're not feeling good, bend your knee and slide the leg out. If you're feeling great, slowly or quickly bring it down. Once it lands, notice that right leg feels a little looser and longer. Let's reach the arms out over your head. Point your toes, get hollow body. 
And now let's hug behind your left knee. Turn all of your toes to the ceiling. Lift your right leg up two inches. Bring your nose to your left knee. Maybe take that right arm, reach it over your thigh or next to it. Spread your fingers, pull your tummy in, and then drop it to the floor. Grab that strap, put it around your right foot. Send that leg up to the ceiling and breathe into the back of the leg. Just a moment there. Now let your right arm rest out, palm up. Take the left leg out to the left side and we're gonna take it out to big circles. Straight up to the ceiling, don't cross the body. Straight up to the ceiling and out to the left side in circles. Go one way around several times before you go the other way around. Several times. Breathe there. Now we're going to bring the leg back to the middle. Both hands grab your strap. Pull the leg gently towards you. Now we're going to twist. Right hand has your strap, left arm rest out comfortable. You can bend your knee or keep it straight. Maybe use your uh, pillows or the couch or a table to support your leg or not. You could bend your knee and get your back flatter on the floor or take it to where it feels safe and comfortable. Look over your left shoulder or straight up to the ceiling. Breathe into that hip, breathe into the twist. We've done several twists this evening. They all do different things. They all stimulate different areas in your back and in your, your body, different organs. Now we're going to come back to the middle. Both hands are going to grab your strap, pull it gently towards you. You're going to take that strap right off your foot. Support it with your hands or not. Point your toes up and work your ankle. Go one way, then the other. You're going to bend your knee and slide it out or slowly or quickly bring the leg down. Once it lands, reach the arms out over your head. Give yourself hollow body stretch. Turn the toes up, heels of the feet to the fingertips. Now get your knees into your chest, hug them in, bring your nose towards the bent knees. Now relax your head and shoulders. With or without your hands, move your knees around in circles. Go one way, then you go the other way. No, I have not forgotten relaxation pose. I want it to be done between this one and the other one. We've got some old friends here who know exactly how my cueing goes. I'm changing it up. Now, put your feet on the floor. Knees bent, get your feet wide apart. Now, let's try relaxation pose. After we've done that, relaxing movement on the hips. Let's see how they feel. They may feel a little stimulated. They may feel a little tingly. Let the feet go out as wide as they can go. Knees flop inward. Relax your butt muscles. No tight asses. Let it go. Palms of your hands are rested out. Close your eyes if you'd like to. And just take a deep breath in and see if you can melt your hips more. <sighs> Can your shoulders, arms melt? Take another breath. <sighs> now let's move on a little bit. We're gonna point our right knee up and press the left knee down. If you want to, you can just stay where you're at or even walk the feet out wider. Maybe you're just le leaving the knees touched feet wide apart. Maybe you don't want to do the movement. It's all good. Lift that left knee up and press the right knee down. Left knee points to the ceiling or slightly inward. Or again, you may have left your knees together with the feet wide apart. It's all good. Gently go from side to side if you're doing the movement where one knee points to the ceiling or slightly inward while you're pressing the other knee down. 
just a few times. Breathing slow, super extra slow. Now we're going to lift both knees back up. Walk your feet and your knees in together. Bring both knees back up again and do the circles in your hips like we just did with the strap. You can use your hands or not going one way around where they come together and then wide apart. Then go the other way around together, wide apart. Clunk, 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 creak, creak, creak. That's normal. Reach your hands between your legs, grab your feet, rock them from side to side. Be a happy baby. Put a smile on your face. And then if you want to be a dead bug, grab the outsides of your feet, point the knees to the rib cage towards the floor. Soles of the feet to the ceiling. Heels and knees are in alignment. We're pushing our hip bones down. And of course you could hold behind your knees. That's fine too. We're trying to pull the shoulder blades to the floor. Our head stays on the floor and we're gonna tuck our chin. Breathe there. Now, while you're here, if you can be here, take a deep breath and go. <sighs> Takes a long time to relax in this pose. Now, go ahead and put your pillows underneath your knees. Arms out, palms up, blankets over your body if you think you're going to get cold. If you have an eye pillow, put it on. If you need to set up, go ahead and set up. If you need to lay on your side, go ahead and do that. Make sure your feet are flopped out as we get ready for the most important pose of all poses, Shavasana. The palms of our hands are turned upward whether we're seated or lying down. Eyes are closed. Take a deep breath in. Let it out with a big sigh. <sighs> Take a deep breath in. Hold the breath for a moment. Sip a little more breath in and then blow it out of your mouth. Let any discomfort, dis-ease leave the body. Try it again. Take a deep breath in. Sip a little more breath in and blow out the discomfort, dis-ease, let it leave. The sound of ah and the sound of mmm. Let's take a deep breath in and let it out with ah. Let's find the delicious sound. Take a deep breath in. Mm. Let's try it again. Take a breath in. Ah. One more delicious sound. Mm. Notice there's a vibration lingering on your lips. Let that vibration reverberate through the entire body. Imagine every cell of your body is opening up and savoring 
that delicious sensation. Find the sound of your breath between your ears. It's right there at the back of your throat. Deepen the breath. Hear that breath moving. Let the breath take on the quality of a wave. A wave that's flowing from head to toe. Fingertip to fingertip. Feel that breath flowing from your skin deep down into your bones. Let each breath soothe your body. Let each breath relax and release the whole. Bring your awareness to that spot between your eyes. Notice the tension, the tightness that might be there. Allow it to relax and release and open. Notice that spot between your eyebrows becoming spacious. Allowing the forehead and the scalp to simply melt away. Inviting those waves of relaxation to flow deep into the face. The eyes soften, cheeks relax, the jaws unhinged. Let the chin hang heavy. As every fiber in your neck softens and releases, even the ears are melting further and down. And as you breathe deeply into the fronts of your shoulders, even the backs of your shoulders, seem to gently melt away. Encouraging waves of relaxation deep into your arms. Soothing your hands as it flows to the fingers. As each breath expands your ribs just a bit more. Notice the gentle wave of your breath. Feel that breath releasing each vertebra gently into the As you breathe deeply into the fronts of your hips, Notice the backs of your hips are melting away. Allowing those deep waves of relaxation to cascade deep within your thighs. Soothing your knees. As it floats deep into your calves and down to each one of your feet. Follow that flow from head to toe, fingertip to fingertip, skin to bone. Let each breath soothe your body. Let each breath relax. Let it release the whole body.
start to notice the sounds in your room. Can you hear sounds in your home? Can you identify sounds from the outside seeping inside? As you start to bring your awareness back to your body by wiggling your toes and your fingers. Wiggle the ankles and wiggle your wrists. Take a nice deep breath in with any extra stretch you'd like. Come on back to the body. Please take your time. Draw the knees up, roll to the right, roll to the left if it feels better to you. Stay on your side. Make a pillow for your head with your arms. Hang out there for a second. Some of you, I already know, you're popped right up and you're setting. Some of you are going, oh, I don't want to come back. Come all the way up to any old seated position. Sit any way comfortable. Ladies, let's stretch our necks before we go. Keep your shoulders relaxed down. We're going to do the vowels with the neck stretch. Accentuate each vowel. The more you stretch your face, the more you're stretching in your neck, in your jaws, your whole face. It's so good for you. Let the shoulders relax. Set up straight. Gently drop your right ear towards the right shoulder. Set your left hand out on the floor. Move it back just enough so you feel it in the side of the neck. Open your eyes. Look out the right side of your eye. Lift the chin with the gaze. Take a deep breath in and relax your shoulders. <sighs> Let's do the vowels. A, E, I, O, U, sometimes Y. And then gently and slowly rotate your nose, look down at your right knee. Take a deep breath and just go. <sighs> Let everything relax. Little yeses with your chin. Bring your left hand back to your knee. Tuck your chin to your chest. Little no, no, nose. Bring both shoulders to your ears. Lift your head up. Relax the shoulders down. Set up straight and tall. Drop your left ear towards the shoulder. Right hand goes out on the floor. Move it back just enough. Open your eyes, look out the right side of, the uh, of your eye up to the ceiling, lift your chin with the gaze. Take a breath and relax shoulders. <sighs> now let's do the vowels. A, E, I, O, U, sometimes Y, and then gently rotate your nose, look directly down at your left knee. Let the head hang and just go. <sighs> Little yeses with the chin. Bring the hand to the knee, tuck the chin to the chest. Little no, no, nose. Bring both shoulders to your ears, lift your head up, relax the shoulders down. If you choose to ohm tonight, Please put your hands together, thumbs against your heart. Om, we're going to pronounce A-U-M, Om. Close your eyes, invite a deep breath in. Ah. Namaste.